In this video, we're going to look at converting between speed and velocity. So what we've been given here are velocities. So 3i minus 4j meters per second. That means it's going along 3, down 4. So every second, it goes along 3, down 4. That's a vector. So velocity is a vector because it's got a magnitude and a direction. But if we're converting it into a speed, we just want to know how far is it going? How long is the red line? So we don't care about what direction it's going in. We just want to know how fast it's going in meters per second. So we only want a magnitude. How do we do that? How do we find the length of the red line? Well, it's the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle. So we can use Pythagoras and we can say that 3 squared plus 4 squared equals the speed squared. So 9 plus 16 equals speed squared. So 25 equals speed squared. So the square root of 25 is 5. So the speed is 5 meters per second. Question 2, it's the same thing. So we go along 4, up 2 this time. And we want to know the length of the hypotenuse. So 4 squared plus 2 squared this time equals the speed squared. So 16 plus 4, so 20 equals speed squared. So speed is root 20 meters per second. And finally, the last one, so it's going along 2, up 3. So along 2, up 3. So 2 squared plus 3 squared equals the speed squared. 9 plus 4, 13, so the speed is root 13 meters per second. Okay, three more questions, pause the video, give them a go and press play when you're ready to go through the answers. Okay, so the first one is going along 5 down 12, so the speed is 5 squared plus 12 squared square rooted. So 25 plus 144 is 169. So the speed is 13 meters per second. Question two. So two squared plus five squared is the speed squared. 25 plus four, 29 is the speed squared, so the speed is root 29 meters per second. And question three, so six squared plus two squared equals the speed squared. 36 plus four is 40, so the speed is root 40 meters per second. <laughs> 